Hello and welcome. I'm Kamal Takodra. I'm a technical marketing engineer in the HPE Aruba Networking Switching Business Unit. And today I'm really pleased to bring you some updates on our new release software 1014 1000 for Aruba CX. So let's get into it. AOS CX 1014 1000 introduces dynamic RP and Phantom RP for pin by directional. If you recall in 1013, we introduced pin by directional for IPv4 for multicast traffic that is highly distributed. The RP for pin by directional is a critical component as it sits in both the control plane and the data plane when building star comedy trees. The dynamic RP is implemented using candidate BSR and candidate RP, or we can use a static phantom RP, which is based on mask match. We can also do multicast group load sharing with this feature now. And we support IPv4 multicast traffic, and this enhancement does not require a feature pack. In terms of use cases, really this feature brings resilience and high availability to pin by directional networks using either dynamic or phantom RP, which can be used in campus or DC networks. Really used for highly distributed multicast sources and receivers across the enterprise. Remember that sources can also be receivers and the enterprise typically has many to many multicast flows and this is where pin by directional can be very useful. Also, we can form underlay star comma G tree for EVPN VXLAN underlay replication if required. Overall, the customer benefits are high availability for distributed multicast environments, as well as reducing EVPN VXLAN resources and increasing scale when moving away from head-end replication when pin by direction was used for underlay. And reduce EVPN VXLAN resource requirements and increase scale when moving away from head-end replication slash ingress replication, allowing us to move to underlay replication. Supported platforms are as shown in the table below. Now let's go across to a short demo. Let's take a quick review of this setup for Phantom RP redundancy. You have various hosts and receivers in this setup. We have a physical host and receiver with a video stream, which we'll see later. And then we have various traffic pattern with multiple hosts and receivers on our traffic generator. So we can analyze the traffic. We have three Phantom RPs in this setup. The primary RP is on this aggregation switch with the longest match or the longest mask. And then we have a secondary and a tertiary RP on the VSX pair on the primary and secondary respectively. We'll make various failure scenarios and see how it affects our traffic patterns. And remember the importance of the RP in pin by directional is it is not only in the control plane, it's also in the data plane. So let's get to our demo. Let's take a quick look at our demo setup. So on the top left, we have our multicast source and we have a single receiver here on the bottom left so we can visually see what's happening to our traffic, which is traversing from this access node here from this host to this receiver here on this VSX pair. We also have multiple streams uh, as detailed earlier so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simulate a failure on this uh, aggregation and remove the primary rendezvous points for these streams and see what impact it has on the traffic and we'll observe the stream and the traffic generator so that's Seems to have no impact on the traffic here. 
we can see we've had no packet loss as well by taking out the primary RP. So next what we're going to do is in the same state we're going to now boot the secondary RP which is in the primary VSX node in our topology and see what impact we have on the traffic and see how the tertiary RP on the secondary VSX nodes takes over. Let's boot the primary VSX node. So what we see is some traffic loss and approximately a 430 millisecond packet loss duration or outage. In summary, we simulated removing the RP on the aggregation switch, which was the primary phantom RP, and we saw zero outage. We then booted the VSX primary which had the secondary phantom RP and that provided a small loss of 430 milliseconds. So depending on where you put your RPs in a pin by directional network we showed that we could get zero to small outage in this small setup. I hope that was useful and informative to you and thank you for watching.